Hello, my lovely Pisces. This is Debs and this is your reading for mid-March 2023. Pisces, in meditation, Michael showed me a woman in the back of her garden, really small little walled garden. She was tending a series of shoots that were just coming up. Every two hours, she stopped what she was doing and went out into this garden area and just looked at these shoots. Occasionally, did a little bit of watering. She fed them with nutrients. She took care of them. She sheltered them from the sun. But she kept thinking to herself, they don't seem to be growing. What is going wrong? She then went into the house. There was a phone call and a friend of hers said, I'm going on a weekend trip. Come with me. And this woman said, no, I don't think I will. No, I, I, I need to watch these little shoots because I don't understand why they're not growing. And a friend said, oh, OK, well, that's disappointing. But uh, OK, you know, maybe next time. Eventually, she got so fed up with looking at these shoots that weren't actually growing that she decided to book a few days trip. Oh, I just can't do this anymore. Really frustrating. They're not growing. I'm just going to have to leave it. I'm just going to have to leave it, do other things. She went away. It was two or three days. When she came back to her shock, she went out into the garden and she realised that these shoots had suddenly shot out of the earth. They'd really grown since she was away. The moral of the story, Pisces, is you may have been so caught up in trying to grow something, expand something, that you've forgotten to actually live your life. It could be that you're trying to get a promotion. So you're spending your time working overtime, working late nights, working weekends, checking the post. Has HR sent me a letter? I'm getting a promotion. It could be you're trying to build a business. Why aren't my subscribers increasing? Why do I feel as if I've reached a plateau? You're stressing Pisces because you're watching something too intently. You're watching something too intently. It's like waiting for your salary to come in. There's no point in logging onto your bank account every single day because it's going to come in eventually. I think the divine wants you to step out of looking so intently at something which is going to be moving forward at its own pace, is what I'm hearing. And simply, Pisces, enjoy your life. You're fine. You need to stop stressing and worrying about something that is out of your hands. Because you're simply wasting time. You're wasting time. You've almost reached a point, Pisces, where you are trying to control the situation. But it's not a situation that you can control. Your salary is going to come in on the designated day. There's no point in logging in and checking your bank account every couple of hours. Take a step back and do something else with your precious time, is what I'm hearing. Do something else with your precious time. Yeah. So Pisces is a very strong message for someone out there. And let's dive in. Here we go, guys. I'm not getting anything serious. I'm not getting the energy of something that's going to be happening that's drastic. I just think you are looking at something with a magnifying glass, feeling stressed. And there is no point in doing that. It's not going to happen any faster. You're not going to get a better result. It's going to happen at its own time, in its own way, is what I'm hearing. Keep doing what you're doing and just get out of your head. Okay? Yeah. Michael's saying yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is mid-March 2023. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the saying, a watched kettle never boils, right? Yeah. 
There's no point in sitting looking at the kettle when you could be out of the kitchen doing something else and let it boil in its own time. There's definitely something that is wrapped up around that type of symbolism, okay? Thank you, Michael. I'm hearing Archangel Uriel, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Jophiel. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, I'm just, Pisces, someone out there is doing my head in, actually. Somebody out there is simply asking themselves millions of questions. Why is it not growing? Why is it not progressing? Why, 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 why? Because Pisces, whatever this is, is out of your hands. But the more you stress about it, the more you worry about it, the more you double check it and triple check it and check it again, it's not going to make any difference. Step away from thinking about this so much and simply start enjoying your life. I don't know why I'm almost feeling a sense of irritation. So you could be irritated that something isn't progressing. It could be Pisces in the nicest sense that other people, and I hate to say this because I'm a Pisces, are getting irritated by you. Maybe this is all you are talking about. Change the subject, think about something else and try to step out of the situation as much as you can. Let the divine take the reins. You need to because Pisces, whatever this is, you are becoming obsessive and it's really unhealthy. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm sorry. My goodness, I feel as if I'm kind of doing a little bit of a lecture talk here and I don't mean to, Pisces, but oh my goodness, the energy is incredibly heavy. What is going on here? Yeah, there are so many visions coming through that relate to exactly the same thing. I'm now seeing a woman purchasing um, a particular shampoo because she wants her hair to grow longer faster. Why isn't it growing? Because Pisces, you probably look at your hair every day. It's not going to grow very much in a day. Step away, leave it to the divine and just fill your time with other things, other happier things. Take your mind off this. Because somebody here is getting a little bit too embroiled and too intense about this. And it's either upsetting people around you, Pisces, or you are becoming upset. And there is absolutely no reason for you to become upset. It's going to happen in its own time. Whatever this is. I'm really curious as to what this is, actually, but it could be lots of things for lots of different people. But the symbolism is the same. Yeah, yeah, Michael's, Michael's saying, OK, Deborah, let's get into the reading. All right. Mm. I don't know why I'm hearing whatever you feel you may have to relinquish is going to be gained in time. Yes, Michael's saying that to me, is going to be reimbursed in time. You're going to basically catch up in time. Somebody here is really stressing. I don't know what this is all about. I don't know what this is all about, but it's just too much, Pisces. It's too much. Step away from the situation. Try to think about other things if you can. I'm seeing somebody taking off an old LP from a turntable. Michael, what is that about? Okay, change the record, Pisces. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Change the record, Pisces. Stop talking about the subject. People are getting pissed off. People are getting angry. People are getting annoyed with you to the point where they don't want to spend time with you because this is all you ever talk about. Okay? I don't know why I'm just getting annoyed. I was fine when I sat down. Somebody here was annoyed. Yeah. Broken record. It's like a broken record, Pisces. Yeah. Constantly talking about this to the point where people do not want to spend time with you anymore because it's all you have on your mind. Okay, Michael. The Magician. 
Yeah, so Pisces, you are trying to manifest something. <laughs> yeah. You are the magician of your life and you have started something that doesn't seem to be moving very quickly forward. It doesn't seem to be growing. It doesn't seem to be expanding. Whatever this is for you. And you don't know what you've done wrong. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? I don't understand. I'm hearing someone say, I did everything right. What's the problem? What's the problem? Yeah, there's some kind of frustration here. King of Swords. I could be dealing with a masculine energy. Or Pisces, you may be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini male who is beginning to get a bit short with you. Could also be a Virgo, Scorpio or Gemini. Somebody's getting a bit short. Somebody just doesn't want to talk about this anymore. Somebody doesn't want to deal with this anymore. Change the record, Pisces. Okay. Yeah. It could be you're waiting for documents to come through and you're waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, but it's not going to come through any faster if you keep checking the post. It's going to come through at the right time. You may be irritating somebody, Pisces, by talking about this incessantly. For goodness sake, think about something else. It's that sort of energy. You're creating a lot of frustration and annoyance for people around you, Pisces. These people have a very strong affinity to you. These people, Pisces, feel very connected to you. They want to see you succeed. They want to be happy for you. But it's as if you've got something that you're not wanting to let go of. I just want to know. I just want to find out. Why isn't this moving forward? Why isn't this happening? What's the problem? Pisces, there's no problem, but it's just too intense. You're too embroiled in whatever this is to be able to relax about it. The divine is saying, you've got to just let this go. Let this go. Let this go. Pisces, this could even be somebody who is obsessed with an ex. Constantly looking at photographs of this person. Constantly talking to their friends about what this person did to Pisces. Pisces, people are sick of it. They're just sick of it. Let it go. Okay? Are you annoying a best friend? Are you spreading slander all over YouTube? Let it go, Pisces. Somebody here is hanging on tightly to something because it doesn't seem to be going forward. It doesn't seem to be moving forward. If it's going to happen, Pisces, it will happen, but at its own pace. If it is not supposed to grow into anything more, you simply have to accept that and stop pushing the subject. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's time. It's time. Wow. In the past, two of wands. Again, confusion, confusion, confusion. Two of wands. Will they, won't they? Is it, isn't it? Are we, have we got progress here or not? Are they choosing this person or, or, or me? Obsession. Stress. King of wands. Pisces, you could have become obsessed about a king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Queen of Swords, Pisces, you have not stopped talking about this. And it's getting too much. It's too much. It's too much. Yeah. Let it go, Pisces, let it go. In the immediate future, the lovers. I could be dealing, yeah, Michael's saying yes, okay, I could be dealing with someone here who is in a third party and doesn't know if their person is going to seek legal advice to divorce. We've got Gemini energy. 
Pisces, you could be wrapped up in a situation with someone, hoping and praying that they're going to release their other person, that they're going to get divorced. In your fears, eight of coins, fearing they're going to stay in that situation. All right. So, guys, this could be a lot of things, but I'm feeling we've got a feminine energy. Now, you could be a masculine, sat in your feminine. Take it as it resonates. This could be same sex. OK, we've got two kings and a queen. Um, someone's joking out there saying, yeah, two queens. OK, guys. All right, guys. <laughs> I love you all. Um, but what we've got here is somebody fearing that another person is not going to leave a situation to be with them obsessing about this also fearing Pisces that somebody is obsessed with their finances so they're absolutely not going to leave but whoever I'm connecting with this Pisces is driving everyone around them crazy I'm hearing why doesn't my best friend ring me anymore well Pisces is this because you keep talking about this is this the only topic of conversation do you ask your best friend how she is? Or is it all about you and this third party? Someone here is being driven around the bend. And I'm hearing enough is enough. In the environment, Pisces, is the three of coins. Pisces, I've got to be honest. If you are in a third party situation, waiting for your person to end a situation with their partner, I'm telling you now, deep breath, okay, sit down, they will not leave their partner. They're not going to, Pisces. And I'm hearing somebody say, oh, but maybe, oh, but, but they said, yes, but no, Pisces, no buts. They're not leaving. They're very happy juggling you and their karmic partner. They will not leave their partner, okay? And I know it's painful and I know it's upsetting and we've all been there, believe me. Believe me. But Pisces, somebody here is obsessing to the point where everybody else around them can't handle it anymore. Can't cope with it anymore. I don't want to hear about this anymore. I'm hearing someone say to themselves, why the hell doesn't she just move on and meet somebody else? If he's not leaving, why not? So Pisces, I'm sorry, but somebody here is becoming so entrenched and obsessed about this that they're actually causing themselves to sit in a lot of stagnant energy. Okay, so if you know this is you and I'm sending you lots of love and support, we've all been obsessed about people in our lives and we have to just let them go. But Pisces, it's as if you know the truth intuitively, but you're still hanging on to the hope that this person will leave their partner. They are not going to, Pisces. Okay? They're not going to. It's painful, yes. It's heartbreaking, yes. But this is a chance for you to stand up, take back your self-respect, talk about something else to friends and family, and simply move on. If you walk away from this person, Pisces, right, that woman walking away from the little shoots, it could well be that this person is so shell-shocked that you've actually walked away from them, that they could come back and say, all right, I don't want to lose you. I want to grow the situation. Let's do this. But Pisces, you're too embroiled in either controlling the situation in the nicer sense or hoping and praying that this person will leave, that you can't think or talk about anything else. And you've just got to step out of the situation and try to find something else to fill your time. Because it is a waste of your time. If this person truly loves you, they will leave. If for them, and this is painful Pisces, I know, if for them, this was simply just a physical attraction and you somehow got it into your head that they're in love with you. If for this person, it was just chemistry, then this is not going to go any further than a fling. 
I'm dealing with a Pisces here who needs to gather together their self-respect, their self-worth, to hold their head high and simply step out of the situation. Yeah. All right. In your hopes, Seven of Cups. Hoping to come out of confusion, Pisces. I just want to know, are they leaving the other person? Are they not? The outcome, Page of Cups. Yes, Pisces. And this is going to be challenging. Eventually, this person is going to say to you, I'm sorry, Pisces, Page of Cups. I'm not going to leave my partner. But Pisces, this could be in 12 months time, in three years time. You may look back and think, oh, I wish I hadn't wasted all that time trying to pursue a connection with somebody who was not available, who was not single, hoping and praying that they would leave the other person. Pisces, it's very simple. And again, I call a spade a spade. You know me. If this person truly loves you, they will say to you, I am leaving and they will do it. They will actually leave their person, go through whatever process they need to go through to detach and commit to you. There is no point sitting, hoping, praying, manifesting it's going to happen. Manifesting for it to happen. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. But if you are in the middle of an affair situation with a man who was not single or a woman who was not single, you are simply wasting your time. And this person will lose respect for you in staying in a third party situation. They will simply lose respect. And it sounds harsh and I know and I'm sorry, guys. But again, I'm speaking from experience. OK, I don't want you to waste five years of your life hoping and praying for something that may never happen because it's a waste of your life. Clarification for you. Knight of Cups. Yes, Pisces, this person may love you, but this is also someone who comes in and out of your life expressing emotion, but they don't ever commit. Yeah. Pisces, this person, this person is married. Emperor. Yes, they may say they love you. Yes, they may say that you're the one for me. Yes, they may say I'm going to leave my person eventually. But how long have you been waiting, Pisces? Seriously. A year, three years, five years, ten years. Oh, eventually they'll leave. Well, maybe, Pisces, they won't. So you need to let this go. Their energy. Two of coins. Yeah, Pisces, they are very happy juggling you with their karmic partner. They don't want that to change because they've got their cake and they're eating it. They've got everything they want. So unless you put your foot down, this whole affair situation is going to keep going. It's not going to change. Unless you stand up for yourself, you're simply going to be continued, and I'm sorry to say this, to be used. To be used for their entertainment. Because as long as you keep giving to the situation, this person will keep taking. Yeah, four coins. Four coins. They're hanging on to their money, which means they're definitely not going to leave. As far as I can tell. If this person has a child with a page of cups... This could be the reason why they are staying in this long-term situation. They don't want to let go of you, Pisces. Of course they don't want to let go of you because you're giving them what they don't have in their long-term situation. Their long-term situation provides them with somebody who possibly keeps a beautiful house, makes sure there's food on the table when they come home from work, and is there as a sense of stability, a sense of morality. I have my wife sat at home. I'm a good husband. Behind closed doors, what you are giving this person is simply passion, 
sexual connection, something that they don't have anymore with their partner. But it does not mean that that's enough for them to spend thousands of pounds going through a divorce, to leave somebody they may have known for 20 years to be with you. Think about it, Pisces. If you were in their shoes, would you leave? And if your honest answer is probably not, then that is your answer. I think this reading has come through because we have a Pisces woman who is obsessed with a masculine divorcing his karmic partner. And this reading is going to show that sadly, this masculine is not going to do that. But I feel this message has come through and I'm sorry for the rest of you beautiful Pisces. This reading has come through because one particular group of Pisces out there cannot get it into their head that this person is going to stay married. And this message is for you guys. Underneath the deck, we've got the five of wands. Yeah. Internal conflict. Are they ever going to leave? Maybe I should hang on and wait. Ace of Swords. The truth is, Pisces, with the energy of the moon, what you don't realise is that with the Seven of Swords, this is someone who's very happily getting what they want from you whilst keeping hold of their money. I mean, we could stop the reading here. We're not going to, but that is what we have, okay? My beautiful Pisces, and I am with you, and I understand because I have been through this myself. I have been through this myself. You're not the only ones, okay? So those energies that we've just dug out of the deck, okay, that just came out of the deck, I'm putting here. Overall energy. Alrighty now. Pisces, for those of you who know this is you, you may feel, well, all right, I'm going to click off now because maybe this is my story. I'm going to see who else is coming in for you, Pisces. If, for those of you who are listening to this, realise, you know what, that is me, we're going to see who else potentially may come into your life if you let go of this emperor, this married man. Okay. All right. Here we go. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the magician and the king of swords? You are manifesting this guy heading to a divorce lawyer to divorce. I don't think he's going to. Yeah. Okay. The death card. Literally the cards flew out of my hands. So Pisces, you could be thinking about a Scorpio. Page of Wands, Messages of Passion, Six of Wands. I am sure eventually my person is going to leave their karmic partner and I will be successful. Mm. But Pisces, how long have you been waiting? Three years, five years, you know? Yeah. You're wasting your time pining for someone, Pisces, who, and again, this is going to be painful, who doesn't care enough about you to make that change. Let that sink in. Who doesn't care enough about you to make that change. And this is very difficult, Pisces, because five, ten years ago, if somebody said that to me, I would be breaking down in floods of tears. But they'll leave. But, 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 but I'm going to wait another year. But they promise me. Yeah, no, Pisces. Take it from me. Unless this man has looked you in the eyes and said that they are in love with you and they are going to speak to a lawyer and they are going to go through divorce and it's all going to be done in six months. 
then leave the situation behind. You might have been overblowing their affection for you in your own mind, Pisces. Yes, but they looked at me in that way. Yes, but they said that they had feelings for me. Yes, but they said that their partnership was on the rocks. But they said their wife wasn't giving them attention anymore. But does that mean that they're going to get divorced and leave that person for you? Probably not. Now, this could be switched. Pisces, you could be a Pisces masculine waiting for a woman that you're in love with to leave her husband, but she's not going to do it. She's going to stay with her husband. Oh, she will tell you she loves you until she's blue in the face. Doesn't mean she's going to leave her guy because her guy provides her with the stability that she needs. It's comfortable. There may be children involved. The families are intertwined, whatever the situation is. So you take this as it resonates. But if you're sitting there waiting for this to grow and expand and you keep thinking when, 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 it's because it may not happen, Pisces. Okay. All right. Oh, my beautiful Pisces, I want to give you guys a hug out there because I have been through this myself. And I'm trying to save you five years, 10 years of heartbreak and frustration. Yeah. All right. What is the two of wands in the past? I'm hearing, will they, won't they? Will they, won't they? I don't know what to do. Yes, eight of cups. Will they ever leave their person to be with me? You didn't know. So you sat and waited, Pisces, in the past. What's the energy that we're dealing with here, Michael, please? What's the energy that we're dealing with? Yeah, Pisces, whatever this was, this was incredibly painful. Whoever the guy was may have lied to you initially, said he was single or insinuated he was single and then admitted that he was married. But here we go. This is the usual story. But my wife lives miles away. But I don't have affection for my wife anymore. But she doesn't love me the way she used to. Right. And the biggest one is Oh, she suffers mental health issues. She suffers from depression, as in they play the victim, which is actually emotional manipulation. That is emotional manipulation, making you feel sorry for them when actually all they really want is to get your kit off as soon as possible, as often as possible, and then to go back to their wife. Right? Pisces, you with me? This is you. This is you. But I thought they loved me. But I'm sure they'll leave their wife eventually. Well, maybe not, Pisces. Now, you fell in love with this guy, King of Wands. Very sexy. Very attractive. Mmm. Yeah. Pisces, you may even have let three other potential opportunities slip through your fingers because you were waiting for this one opportunity. Yeah, you could have wasted three, four years of your life because you were waiting for this person to return. And Pisces, you were completely tormented. You were tormented. I can't believe this isn't actually happening. When is it going to happen? When is this person going to leave that other person? Well, Pisces, I'm sorry, but if they're not coming to you saying, yes, I'm actually doing it, then they probably have no intention of doing that. What's the Queen of Swords? Yeah, Pisces, this is obsession. This is obsession and it's really unhealthy. You can't talk about anything else to your friends, to your work colleagues, online. You can't think or talk about anything else but this person, this situation. What am I going to do? When are they going to leave their partner? Did they speak to a lawyer? Pisces, if this person said they're going to leave their partner and you've been waiting longer than a year, they're not going to do it. I mean, it's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. If this person loves you and they want to be with you, they will be with you. They will make those necessary changes. 
If you've been waiting for longer than a year, walk away. For goodness sake, don't waste four or five years of your life. Because that's all you're doing. And you may be stressing out people in the process. Maybe you realise people are detaching from you because this is all you can ever talk about. And maybe you're talking to a best friend and your best friend actually thinks to themselves, I wish Pisces would actually stand up for themselves and walk away from this man. But they feel they can't say that to you, Pisces, because you're besties, right? You know? Yeah. So you're making things difficult for the people around you. You may be slandering their karmic partner on social media via YouTube doesn't mean that this person's going to see that somehow and suddenly leave their partner. What they'll do is they'll simply break off the third party situation and possibly never talk to you again. So you may as well end it first, right? If they're not making that change. This is challenging Pisces. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you're stuck in your head and you're clinging on to the past. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Queen of Wands, you're the other woman, Pisces. You are the other woman. You could be highly attractive. You could be sexier. You could be 10 years younger than the karmic partner. It does not mean this man is going to leave their partner to be with you. If you're giving them everything they don't have in their marriage, why would they bother leaving? Right? There's more likelihood, Pisces, that this would work if you completely detached from the situation, stood up for yourself and got on with your life. If your person truly loves you, they will come after you. And then there may be a slight chance that you will be able to move forward with this person in the future. If you continue to give them what they want, they will lose respect for you quietly and they will just continue to use you as the third party until you get the heads up that this is just going to be an ongoing frustrating situation that you should leave behind. Guys, it's tough. I know. I'm sorry. But this is tough love. I love you guys out there. And I do not want you to be in a situation where you turn around and think, oh, did I really waste all those years? Really? Don't do it. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. And you may be pushing away people that want to get to know you because you're hanging on to a fictitious future husband to be that may never happen. So... Archangel Michael, when do we have the lovers next to the three of coins? Thank you. All right. I'm seeing a mad texting session between two people. I'm seeing a woman bashing out a text. What do you mean you can't make it? What do you mean? Yeah, Pisces, you're getting stressed. Somebody here is in the middle of a toxic third party situation. And it's it's not good. Okay, do we have timing, Michael, please? 8th of July, 12th of July. Oh, this is really difficult. Okay, I can see a woman who is rushing around a house. Oh my goodness, she is going crazy. She's got a, a mountain of clothes on her bed, shoes all over the floor. She's frantically trying to smear on fake tan whilst putting on false eyelashes, doing her makeup. She's stressing because she's run out of a product that she uses. She's dropped something. She's dropped. She's dropping a perfume bottle on the floor. And perfume's going everywhere. This is a woman who is desperate to look perfect for this guy. She's putting on lip liner and lip gloss. Plumping lip gloss? I'm hearing plumping lip gloss. Okay. She's thinking to herself, it's going to be tonight. He's going to tell me, he's going to tell me tonight. 
This could be a weekend getaway type thing. Okay, she's now going over to her phone. She's got a big smile on her face. This could be this guy saying, I'm going to pick you up at a certain time. Whew, okay, Pisces. All right, this woman's face has fallen. And she's whispering to herself, I cannot believe it. I can't believe it. No, he is cancelled on her at the last minute. And I can just see this text. It's just saying, I'm so sorry, I can't make it. I'll make it up to you. I'm so sorry, I can't make it. I'll make it up to you. Now, this woman has possibly spent, no joke, five, six hours on getting ready on getting prepared for this guy. So Pisces, I'm sorry. I really, really am. I'm really sorry. Okay, what is this man's energy? What is this man's energy? <sighs> Pisces, okay. Yeah, he's happy as Larry. He's happy as Larry. He's got everything he wants. He's got his wife sat at home or his long-term partner, you know? taking care of the house, getting in the food, sorting out the kids, whatever this is. And he's got you on the side. Yeah. What's on this guy's mind? Yeah, Pisces, I'm so sorry, guys. This is just sexual chemistry. The only thing this guy genuinely wants is love, attention, and a whole lot of sex. And that's it. What is this guy thinking about? What is this guy thinking about? Yeah, I mean, Pisces, this is a straight up third party, okay? He's wearing a false mask. He's going to continue to have you in this third party affair situation until you walk away. What is he thinking about? Yeah, he's thinking about his money. He may be thinking even, Pisces, well, my wife is loyal to me. Why would I leave? Why would I leave? What is he thinking about? What is he thinking about? What is he thinking about? Yeah, king of coins. He's staying in this long-term commitment. He could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What is he thinking about? What is he thinking about? Okay. Yeah, he's in a happily ever after situation, Pisces. I know you don't want to hear it. He's probably told you his wife is horrible. He's probably told you that she's a nightmare, this, that, and the other. She's probably not. She's probably a really lovely woman who's having to deal with an unfaithful husband. Yeah, faith card, it flipped over. Could be a Taurus. This is someone who was staying married. Staying married. Yeah, this is somebody who's going to stay in a legal contract, okay? Libra energy. What is this person thinking about? Okay, Pisces, what they're really thinking about is the mother of their kids or their wife. How sweet she is, how nurturing she is, how lucky he is to have her. Whereas he's probably telling you his wife is a nightmare. Oh my God, she's awful. She does this, she does that. She doesn't love me in the way that I want her to love me. Pisces, behind closed doors, this couple probably sleep, still sleeps together twice a week. But how would you know that? What is on Pisces' mind? Now this, I think, is when you, Pisces, suddenly get the wake-up call that you could be waiting forever for this guy to leave. This could be the final straw for you. After spending five or six hours of getting yourself ready, packing a case, okay, making yourself look beautiful and perfect, and out of the blue, probably within an hour's notice, this guy cancels on you. Sorry, can't make it. And this is you feeling devastated. So what you're realising, Pisces, is you are simply the other woman. 
And I know it sounds awful. I'm hearing the word expendable. You are expendable. His wife is not. His long-term partner is not. Because she takes care of the house. She takes care of the kids. She keeps everything in order. Why would he leave her? How is Pisces feeling? Yeah, left out in the cold. Made to feel not good enough, not pretty enough, right? It's nothing to do with that. This is a guy who simply is not going to leave a long-term partner. Because whatever he's told you, Pisces, this is a long-term partner who actually does feed the marriage. He's just bored. He's probably just been sleeping with the same woman for the last 10, 20 years. He just wants a bit of fun. But you've turned it into a scenario where this man is in love with you and he's got a nightmare wife. Think about it, Pisces. Really, be savvy. Be savvy. So this is you feeling left out in the cold. Yeah. Pisces, you may, re you may figure out that the secret is this guy's just not getting any from his wife. Or the secret is, is that his wife is loving and nurturing and caring and a good woman and she's dealing with a cheating husband. It's as simple as that. Not all men cheat. Women cheat too. But, th but this is a guy who has love-bombed you, Emperor Knight of Cups, and fed you all the right things. You know I love you. I don't want you to leave me. Let's not talk about my wife. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I want to be with you. Pisces, this is somebody who has learned to be emotionally manipulative to get what he wants. What is Pisces thinking about? I've just got to wait a little while longer. Just another couple of months, I'm sure he's going to leave her. Just another six months, I'm sure he's going to leave. Yeah, no, Pisces, he's not. Yeah, no, he's not. What is on Pisces' mind? Oh, he told me he was in a really complicated situation. It's not as easy as just leaving her. Or the classic line is, she won't allow me to divorce her. Well, yeah, I'm afraid that someone can force another person to divorce them. They just need to send them divorce papers and they don't have a say in it. So that's a lie to start with. If you've got somebody saying she won't allow me to divorce her. Yeah, well, no, Pisces, come on, you know, get real. What is Pisces thinking about? But we're in love. No, Pisces, you're in love. He's in lust. Okay? And then we have the tower. Then we have the tower. This is this guy cancelling on you at the last minute. And this is maybe Pisces suddenly getting the wake-up call that you're simply wasting your time. Yeah, you may call this guy out, Knight of Swords. Yeah. What is Pisces going to say? Yeah. Thank goodness for that, Pisces. You are finally pushing this guy away. You're finally standing up for yourself and you're putting up defences. Finally. Finally, Pisces. Why? Because with the Queen of Coins, he's staying married to his partner. This is you suddenly getting that wake-up call. Oh my God, what am I doing? He could cancel on me at short notice, just like that. Yeah, Pisces, because he's messing with you. This is a guy who deep down doesn't actually give a damn. And I'm sorry, guys, because I'm hearing me saying all this and I know how painful it is to hear. What is the energy between these two people, Michael? What is the energy between these two people? Yeah. The divine wants you to make a firm decision to turn your back on the situation, okay? To stand up for yourself. 
And the divine is bringing judgment day to this person because they have been emotionally manipulating you to get what they want. What is the energy of the page of cups? Yeah, Pisces, I'm afraid, page of cups, is someone saying, I'm sorry, but this is over. And this is you feeling those ten swords. They're saying, I'm sorry, it's over. Yeah. So Pisces, you're going to move to calmer waters, okay? You aren't going to move on from this. You're going to move on from this. The star. And you're going to heal. You're going to heal from this. Yes. You could have been connecting to an Aquarius. What is happening here for Pisces? What is happening here in the future for Pisces? Yeah, there we have it, the world. Pisces, an old cycle of you being manipulated, left out in the cold, lied to and deceived is fully and finally over. Over. You're on a new path, Pisces. You're on a new path. And you're moving forward, chariot. You're leaving this old cycle behind. You're suddenly realising how much time you've been wasting and you are on the move. You could be moving away from a Cancerian. Yeah. And with the nine of coins, Pisces, you are sitting in pre-empress energy. Understanding your worth, realising that you simply, possibly was taken advantage of. And you're looking to your future. What's going to happen in the future for my Pisces, Michael? Okay, eight of wands. Now, one of two things can happen, Pisces. Either this person is going to chase you because you stood up for yourself finally and walked away. Or you are getting a lot of passionate messages from somebody who sees your worth. Who is sat in the Nine of Wands? Who is sat in the Nine of Wands? The Strength card. Somebody who is coming forward to you. They're gathering together the strength and the confidence to move towards you. I think this is actually someone new. Could be a Leo. Who is this person? Who is this person? Yeah, page of coins. Pisces, this is someone who is going to treat you the right way. This is somebody turning up with a gift, taking you out. This is somebody who wants to date you. How is Pisces feeling? Yeah, the fool. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Pisces, I'm so relieved for you. I'm so relieved for you. It's as if finally, cut off point, you're seeing the light. What am I doing waiting for this person? They're not coming back. They're not going to offer me commitment. I'm never going to be this person's wife. They're not going to divorce the other woman. Pisces, I'm so glad that whoever this is, is realising that they simply could have been sat wasting their time. You are moving forward. Yeah. Yeah, and this could potentially lead to a beautiful long-term commitment. Take it slowly. Keep your boundaries healthy. But I think this could move into something beautiful. Yeah, it could. Oh, yeah, four of wands. Pisces, I almost feel that as soon as you let go of this past person who was holding you back, using manipulative tactics to keep you stuck, Lying, basically, about their situation to keep you in a third party connection with them. I think this is the divine rewarding you. As soon as you step away from this connection, stand up for yourself, turn your back. I think the divine is going to bring in your true person. 
and it's beautiful. But you have to close out the cycle first and really move on. Pisces, this is you not turning your back on this person with the hope that they're going to chase you. No, no, because that's just you being manipulative, right? This is you genuinely telling yourself, I deserve to be treated better and really meaning it and really detaching Pisces, blocking their number, deleting photographs, deleting email addresses, no longer watching tarot readings on this person because all of those things mean that you're hanging on to their energy. Let it go. And if you can do that, I think the divine is going to reward you with a beautiful new relationship. Okay? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Under the deck. Ace of Cups. So my gorgeous Pisces, it's been a long reading. And I know for some of you it's been a painful one. But I really, really hope that this has helped. If you're going through this, I'm sending lots of love and support your way. It's very painful, I know. But I feel as if this reading is going out there to a group of Pisces who is simply sitting and waiting. And the divine doesn't want you to do that, Pisces. Okay, so head up. Know your worth. Get out there, meet new people and leave this person behind. I'll see you soon, Pisces. Bye now.